I'm Stuart Anderson from Dry Treat and today I want to talk about efflorescence and how sealing with a dry treat impregnator can help control it. Now here's an example of uh, what efflorescence looks like. Um, efflorescence has been caused by these mineral deposits, these white mineral deposits and they're, um, they've occurred all over, the, all over this concrete paver. Um, they're very difficult to remove and they look unsightly. Okay, so efflorescence occurs in two, from two, two main uh, sources, from within the material and from uh, outside, outside factors. So here, here's a concrete paver. Um, it's made up of cement, sand and water. And when they're mixed together, they form a chemical reaction and there's an excess amount of um, minerals. And those minerals, when, when uh, water comes through the paver, are brought to the surface and cause this efflorescence. So that's that's the interior one. And the second way uh, efflorescence can occur is from groundwater uh, underneath coming up through the um, through the paver and, and reaching the surface. So um, the paver may be sitting on sand. So it could be sea salt from the sand. It could be um, these minerals from the uh, mortar bedding. Or it could be just some groundwater, um, other, other minerals that are in the groundwater. Okay, so the secret to controlling efflorescence is to use a dry treat impregnating sealer. Now, on a paver like this, it could go in half an inch or more and make the first part of the paver completely water repellent. That way, water and the waterborne salts can't reach the surface and you can't cause efflorescence. Okay, to demonstrate how a dry treat sealer will help control efflorescence, I've got three pieces of stone here. Um, one's been, uh, well, this one is the control, it's not treated. This one's been um, treated with a common um, impregnator on the market. And this one has been treated with a dry treat impregnator called Stainproof. So we're going to pretend that this, this stone is sitting on your patio outside. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of water in this tray. And in that water, I'm going to dissolve some, uh, some salts, same sort of salts you might find underneath your patio, like um, salts coming from your, your mortar bed or the soil. Okay. So I'll make the, the salt mix. I'll uh, throw in some hot water. Get it stirring. Some uh, sea salt, sodium chloride. A couple of teaspoons of that. Some calcium chloride. And some uh, magnesium sulfate, which is uh, Epsom salts. So all these minerals you could find in the groundwater, quite common. We'll make it uh, super saturated just for the point of the demonstration. And um, we'll just let that uh, stir for a few minutes whilst it dissolves. Okay, so we've got plenty of salt in there and um, I'll just turn that off. It's, most of it's dissolved. So what I'm going to do now is just put a very shallow uh, layer of water on the, on the bed there. And over time, I'll just leave it for a little while and we'll see what happens. The, um, the water and the salt will uh, get dragged into the, into the stone and we'll have a look at, uh, at what the results are in a little while. Okay, so we'll just leave it sitting there. Okay, so we've let the stone sit in the, in the salt water for the last 12 hours. And you can see how the um, untreated stone has become dark. It's really dragged in the water and the salt. The competitor product has also become a little bit dark around the edges. And you see the dry treat um, the piece of stone is still looking good. To accelerate the process, I'm going to use a hair dryer to, um, to dry the surface and really show the, uh, the salts.
Okay, so this is the untreated one, and you can see these white marks is where the where the uh, the salt's forming, where the water's evaporating, and the and the salt is forming. Okay, so the uh, stone treated with the competitor's product, uh, you can see a bit of water coming through, and the, the formation, the salts are just starting to form in a couple of areas, uh, just coming through there, this uh, white salt. And the, um, the last piece of stone here that's been impregnated with the dry treat product is still looking good, the surface is, uh, is nice and shiny, there's no water coming through. Okay, we've got the untreated piece of stone. And you can see how dark it is from the water and the salt coming all the way through the surface. And we've got the competitor's product here. It's also uh, it's become very dark, except for this one little area here. And you can see the uh, dry treat impregnated piece of stone. It's, it's dry all the way through. All right, so this, this sample was treated with stain proof, but Metacrine or 40SK would work equally as well. So we, we want your paving to look like this rather than this, so um, I recommend using a dry treat impregnator. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.